Did you know that the first tweet was sold for 2.9 million dollars earlier this year? And this Beeple's digital art, it was sold for a whooping 69 million dollars. And this popular Nincat GIF, $560,000. That is correct. And we're talking about NFTs in this video. We'll tell you what exactly NFTs are, how you can get into this whole business of NFTs. So the NF in the NFT stands for non-fungible. Fungible, of course, means replaceable. So you're talking about something that's unique, one of a kind, lakho karodo mein ek. It could be art, digital art, a GIF, a meme, a video, anything. All of them can be converted into NFTs. Now the T in the NFT stands for two token which is closely related to blockchain. Blockchain of course is your online ledger that is monitored by thousands of computers all around the world. So when you do a transaction using a crypto coin say a bitcoin or ethereum a token is issued for that transaction. Say the cat video you decide to auction it and the uh, highest bid is say $560,000. It is worth the worth of a coin in your account mein transfer karenge, and that transaction goes into a blockchain. Now the token that is a GIF is sold and a digital certificate is issued that is uh, verified by thousands and thousands of machines all around the world stating that he or she is the owner of this digital art piece. Now because this is a unique token of which there is only one that exists hence non-fungible token or NFT. Now NFTs are not new they've been around since 2014 and there are tens and thousands of them on the internet be it art music, games, shiv, memes, uh, anything, you know, all of them have been turned into NFTs. But uh, mostly in a digital world, most of these assets that are being sold as NFT today are available on the internet on multiple websites. So, if you have that if website is easily available, then I can download it and list it and why do I have to pay Well, that's because NFT allows the buyer to own the digital item. Sirf itna in NFT, there is built-in authentication which serves as proof of ownership and the collectors value the digital bragging rights almost more than the item itself. Now blockchain technology and NFT provide artists and content creators a unique opportunity to monetize their wares. So for example an artist no longer has to go to those galleries and auction houses to sell their art. They can do that, just turn them into NFTs, sell them and keep the most of the profit. Right? Make more money. Not only that brands can also create and auction NFTs to raise money for charities. So NFT kya hai? Essentially NFTs are like physical collector's item only digital. So instead of uh, actually owning the oil painting and hang it on your wall, what you get is a digital file instead. Just of course uh, you can you know take a print out and again hang it on your wall. So that's the difference. And if you want to NFT collector, banna chahte hai, so you need to learn few things and know few things. First and foremost you need to create a digital wallet in which you can store NFT or crypto currency ko securely store karenge. Next, you'll have to buy the cryptocurrency. A cryptocurrency aapko wo leni padegi jo ki seller accept kare, right? And then you have to look for those websites that are selling those NFTs. Again, the challenge with those websites is that you have to sort of do your investigation and find out which one is authentic and which one is not, right? But then you have to be careful with your money as the NFT and the crypto market in ka future kafi uncertain da hai. Uh, there's no history to judge their performance. People have made millions of dollars. People have also lost millions of dollars. So just keep that in mind. Just be a little bit careful. Do your research. You know, read the offer documents carefully before investing. Terms and conditions apply. Thank you.